Hello and in today's video I'm going to show you how to take a graph that looks like this and make it look a bit more appealing by adding icons instead of static bars. So to do that I'm going to start again from scratch, I'm going to create a graph using this data set. Now I'm going to do that on the same page just so that you can see how that works. So under the insert ribbon I've gone to the chart area and I'm picking this stacked bar. Now what I'm going to do to make it look a bit nicer, I'm going to go in and I'm going to use one of the pre-built chart styles. I'm going to pick that one. Now it's important that you do this first because if you do this after you've changed the, the two areas to icons, it will change it back to the bars that you had before. Okay. So now that I've got that in this more 3D effect and with the nice dark contrasting background, what I need is something to replace the colours with. So to get that, I'm going to go to Insert and under Illustrations, you'll see we've got icons. So I'm going to have a look for an icon of books. I'm going to take that one. And then I'm going to have a look for one for CDs. And I'll take that one. So now that I've got those two items, they're a bit boring, they're just black and white. I'm going to add a bit of colour to each one. So let's make the books this nice blue colour. Let's make the CDs this orange colour. Okay so to now replace the blue with these icons first thing I need to do is copy that icon click on the blue part of the bar and by right clicking and picking format data series I would get this panel. So you can see at the beginning of this panel there is a fill and lines option and within there you've got picture or textured fill. Now if I pick that up option and I now press the clipboard you'll see I get a very squashed version of the books. If I change that to stack I now get a smaller version and it stacks the number of them that it takes to fill this area and you can see it's even doing some of them as, as part books. Okay I'll repeat that process so I'm going to click on the red part of the bar I'll copy this first, sorry, click on the red part of the bar, go to my fill and lines, go to the pictures and texture fill again, and again, pick the clipboard. Again, I need to remember to press stacked so that I don't get a, a really squashed version of the CDs. Okay, so how's our graph looking? Let's compare it to the finished version. So if we look at for the finished version, I've got the amount that each one is showing on it. I've also not got the lines in the background and I've updated some of the other bits so let's do that. So chart title I'm just going to call that sales split. To now add the value onto each of these items I'm going to click within the graph and I'm going to go for my chart elements I'm going to have a data label Now so they stand out a bit, I'm going to click on the blue ones, let's make them a bit bigger, let's try 20, yeah that should be big enough, and let's give those a similar blue colour background, oh in fact no, we'll, we'll leave it as having no fill this time. I'll do the same on here, so we'll go for size 20, and again those values are showing. To get rid of the bars in the background if I go down to this chart elements here of grid lines and I take those off we now don't have the bars in the background. Now if I move this graph so that it now becomes its own separate worksheet you'll see we get a very similar look to the finished version that I showed you at the beginning. So we've got the amount that each of these areas is representing. 
we've got the bars not as solid lines now but as the icons that I've chosen to represent each product category and it just looks a lot nicer than a very basic stat bar chart that most people will have seen before okay guys if you like the video can you give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos from me can you remember to press the subscribe button because I plan to release two videos each week on various topics within Microsoft Office. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.